Okay, um, so we're going to look at tonight's homework. Um, it says solve using a tape diagram. You're going to just use the picture to kind of conceptually understand this. So here, you're going to draw the picture of one-fourth. So you have a bar split into four pieces, and you have one of them. And it's one-fourth of 24, so the whole is 24. Another way we looked at this was mathematically. So we know that the of means multiply. So you have 24 times 1 4. I'm just switching the order, which we know we can do in multiplication. So that would be equivalent to 24 times 1 divided by 4, because we know this is actually a division symbol. So 24 times 1 is 24. So that's equal to 24 divided by 4. 24 divided by 4 is going to give you 6. So there's your answer. Look at another one. Um, this is two-thirds, so again, I have to draw the bar that shows the two-thirds. So I'm going to split it into, th into thirds, and then I would color in two of them. The whole bar is 18. So then we'll go over here and show the math. Um, so I have, I can switch the order. I like to put the bigger number first, because it seems to just make more sense to me. And then I can flip the order later. So I have 18 times 2 thirds, which is also equal to 18 times 2 divided by 3. And again, I just changed that symbol. Um, so when you get into the bigger numbers like this, sometimes it's helpful to do another flip here. So I could do 18 times 2 and then divide that whole number by 3. But I know 18 and 3 are compatible. So what I can do is I can flip the order here and just switch 2 times 18 divided by 3, and I can do this first. So 18 divided by 3 is 6 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12. So my answer there would be 12. Um, we'll look at this one. This, again, you want to draw your picture. 3 7 so I want to split into 7 pieces here, which isn't going to make sense if I do a piece in the middle. Okay, let me just make sure that that's erased well. So I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. I need seven pieces. Okay. And then three of them are shaded, and the whole amount is 49. So if I go to write it out, again, I like to use this whole number first. So I'm just flipping the order 49 times 3 sevenths. That's going to be equal to 49 times 3 divided by 7. And now I'm going to look to see if this makes more sense to flip those two numbers because sometimes it does. In this case, 49 and 7 are compatible, so it's going to make sense to flip these two. So that will give me 3 times 49. I just changed the order. So now I can do this first. So 49 divided by 7 is 7. I still have the times by 3. 7 times 3 is 21. So my answer is 21. Um, we'll look at some of these, you'll end up with a mixed number. So let's look at I. This one, you have one fourth. So again, you want to split into fourths. Color in one piece. You know the whole amount is 25. So if I go through and I rewrite it down here, I'm going to flip the order just because I like that 25 first. It makes more sense to me. And that's equal to 25 times 1 divided by 4. And if I look at that, 25 and 4 aren't compatible, so I don't really need to flip that. So I have 25 divided by 4, which is not compatible either. Um, so that tells me I'm going to end up with a mixed number. So I have 25 divided by 4. That'll go in 5 times. Oh, I'm sorry, actually that goes in 6 times. So 6 times 4 is 24. I have one left over, so then I have one fourth. So I end up with six and one fourth. Um, K and L, we did together in class, um, and we used an algebraic, we used an al algebraic um, expression to do that. I'll go over one of them, um, but the children should have them done because we did them together in class. So we said three fourths of a number is 27. And they want to know what the number is. So of is 
multiply. So I have a number that I'm multiplying by 3 fourths and it's going to equal 27. So I'm going to just rewrite it as an equation. n times 3 divided by 4 equals 27. So I want to isolate this variable of n. That's the unknown number. So I'm going to just do the opposite things to, um, to get rid of these. So the first thing I can do is I can think about um, getting rid of this times by 3. So I'm going to do the exact op opposite of it to sort of like neutralize it and just get rid of it. So I can multiply by 3. If I divide by 3 on both sides, what that will do, if you multiply something by 3 and then divide it by 3, you're doing the exact opposite, so you're just getting rid of it. So I end up with n divided by 4 is still left on that side, and on this side, 27 divided by 3 is 9. Now I need to do get rid of this divide by 4. So again, I'm going to do the exact opposite, but I have to do it on both sides to keep this equal. This is like a balance. The equal sign is showing that it's balanced. So divided by 4, I would multiply by 4, but I want to do it on both sides. I can't do something to one side of the equation and not the other. This neutralizes it and kind of cancels each other out. So then you have n equals, well, 9 times 4 is going to give you 36. So I know my mystery number is 36. There's that one was K. And you probably need a little work, more room for that. I don't know why they don't give you more room. Um, and let's see. We'll look on the back at some of these. Um, solve using a tape diagram. So a skating rink sold 66 tickets. Of these, so you see the word of. Of means multiply. So 66. Um, usually of means multiply. 66, uh, skating rink sold 66 tickets. Of these, two-thirds were children's tickets and the rest were adult tickets. How many adult tickets were sold? So you have 66 of two-thirds. You don't know. So you're taking 66 times 2 divided by 3. And I like the way this 3 and the 66 fit together, so again, I'm going to flip the order of these two. 2 times 66 divided by 3. I'm going to do that first. 66 divided by 3 is 22. So that leaves me 2 times 22. And that's going to give me 44. So I know 44 are children's tickets. So if I want to know how many are adult tickets, well, I have the total tickets, which was 66. I'm going to subtract out how many were children's. and I end up with the adult tickets. So that'll give me 22. So I have how many adult tickets were sold? 22 adult tickets were sold.